Marketing machines are a nightmare. Or so you might think after hearing everything that I've gone through trying to get one lousy sweater. From broken parts, to wrong needles, to getting stuck, having to troubleshoot, and just in general having issues reading sweater patterns made for the knitting machine. And just in general, it has been a long two months trying to work with a knitting machine and getting this as my result. So let's just go back to the start. How did I get my knitting machine? It all started a while ago when I watched a Rachel Maxi Maxi video. Her video on the knitting machine that she found in her basement from her grandmother introduced me to this type of knitting machine. She did a whole video on it and I really enjoyed it and I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it, but if you're here you probably have. And if you've seen her video, you know the struggles that she went through with that one out of the box. From then I have from seeing that video till now, I have watched quite a few videos on knitting machines in general, from circular to this type, and almost every time after watching one or a couple of these videos, I would look them up, feel pain at the price or concern of ordering a used one, and decide to hold off. This continued until this past December, when on a walk with my mom, I mentioned that I've had a lot of thoughts about buying them, and how I keep holding off. And this is what led me to this amazing deal of a lifetime. So mom mentioned that Mima, who was basically like my second mom, had a knitting machine and that she had been debating getting rid of it. I messaged Mima casually, of course, to ask about them and Mima quickly got back to me and a deal was obviously struck. I could have the machine if I let her borrow it occasionally because she just wants it for certain things. And uh, yeah, heck yeah, score. Now obviously the knitting machine came with some surprises to say the least. First it was not actually one knitting machine, it was two of them with all the accessories that I could ever possibly want. I have the lace carriage, I have the rivers, the punch cards, intarsia color work ability. One machine is just for standard gauges of yarn, which is the thickness, and then the other is for the heavier, chunky yarns. And of course, I have books, books, books. So for the proper story of these knitting machines, Mima was gifted them as a, just from a woman who she knows that used them as a small business owner in the UK. These machines are from like the 80s or so, and this woman had made sweaters for school-aged children, Hence all the accessories and books and anything I could ever want because it was her business. And because Mima was gifted them for free, but only wanted to use them occasionally for a process in her yarn dyeing, I was blessed enough to also be given these for free. Which just the ability to lend it to Mima for that color work yarn dyeing. I'm so lucky and grateful for such an amazing gift and needless to say, I was shocked and overjoyed at this amazing offer. With all that backstory about these machines covered, let's just get into this two-month nightmare that I've been going through, and the nightmare that they are. So, here is a stack of books. One tote. There are three other totes that go with this. These are just like basic pattern cards. This is my first test knit, but more books. The punch for the punch cards, manuals. One machine, accessories, accessories. Like this on its own, 600K. This is one full machine. I walk you over here I got this table. This is a second full machine. I was given two full on knitting machines and accessories. And I didn't even show you the totes they came with. Yes, I have already played a little with it because like, I knew I wanted to make a video and I would, I thought about doing like my first impression, first attempts, but I was just too excited. And uh, 
Yeah, first box I open because the the one on the table was already like out. Like it has its box still and everything, which is amazing considering like I think the oldest stuff is from like the late 70s, early 80s. It still has its box. Like everything still has its box. That one was our like the one on the table over there was out of its box. I open one of the boxes thinking, oh, like, what accessory is this? It's a whole nother knitting machine, the one on the table that I just showed you. And through my playing around, I've learned that this one is for standard gauge yarn. The one on the table over there, that's for chunky yarn. So there's, I have two different sizes that cover all the types of yarn that I'd ever want to use. And then one of these accessories is clearly a ribber, which if you don't know, it's, um, if you are watching this video, you probably know, but it is a, to like give a different effect. And then I'm not sure about the other accessory, but I opened it up and it looked like everything was there. There's still like the original styrofoam. And there's the lace attachments. There's um, like all these different things. Like I, I have a huge ass stack of books that I've been flipping through. There's a whole bunch of punch cards and everything. And I'm just so excited. So after playing with the Chunky Gauge Machine, which it definitely needs its own TLC, but I wanted to get over to the Standard Gauge Machine, which is the one that I'll probably use the most in all honesty. I like finer yarn overall, so that is probably what I'm going to be using. First off, the standard gauge machine had bent, broken needles, which needed to be replaced. So I searched the internet, I found ones that matched, and I ordered them. Which was truly my first mistake. I got the needles that I ordered in the mail, I replaced a few with the new ones, and the whole carriage got stuck. With some panicking, I cried, and then some help from my mom and sleeping on it, I took to taking apart the whole carriage. The only videos that I found could get me part of the way. The issue with an older machine is you might not be able to find the exact info for your specific brand and model. But the few videos that I found helped me get the plastic off and then a combo of those videos, filming myself and just inspecting and going through, I was able to get it apart and unstuck. I ended up watching my recording back in that moment to like reassemble it, but I actually managed to do it. I managed to fix my issue that I am the only one who caused. I can't begin to explain how relieved and proud that I felt over that. I genuinely thought that I ruined this amazing gift and being able to fix it with my hands, a screwdriver and some intuition was amazing and very rewarding. With the wrong needles out, I returned them and I found the correct needles. I also reached out to a company called Needle Tech. It is a company specializing in knitting machines out of Washington State. Luckily, Jerry, who is the man there that specializes in the machines and repairs, could give me more information about my specific machine, including what other names and models that it goes under or was sold under back in the day, and more information on the new needles and what to look for. With new needles ordered, I had to wait again, obviously, but before long they came and I was able to replace all the needles on the machine and to just to be sure that they were all good. There were some that looked fine, but I figured I might as well replace them all. Thankfully, with all that over, my nightmare was done for the most part. The next came actually making the sweater. So I obviously have made a sweater. It was ambitious. I've never made a sweater before, but with one of the books, a sample of my yarn knit and blocked, I tried to tackle it. <laughs> now for those who knit, you might know the struggle that it can be with reading patterns at times. I struggle with just normal knitting patterns. Luckily, the knitting machine pattern was a bit easier in some ways than hand knitting ones. And so the body seemed to come together just fine. The sleeve pattern absolutely makes no sense to me in the slightest. So I just picked a different 
sleeve pattern all together from the book. I found one that was super basic and I just went with it, even though it's not perfect for my sweater body pattern. The bigger issue overall has actually been my knit swatch. I knit it to get an idea of the math and how many stitches and rows to make the sweater fit correctly. However, my swatch that I did and I blocked does not match my sweater that is blocked. So it's a lot closer fitting than anticipated based on the pattern and the sleeves are so much longer than they needed to be. It's fine that the body is longer because it fits just fine, but the sleeves are far too long. As my first project though, the neckline and hem of the sweater also look off, but I took to Pinterest and I found a way to bind them in a more pleasing way. For the extra long sleeves, I plan on folding them inward and tacking them down, essentially just hemming them up inside of themselves. But I haven't quite done that yet. But overall, here is my first finished sweater. In all regards, it is definitely not my favorite thing that I've made, but the knitting machine is actually super fun and satisfying and knowing that I can fix it and learning how to use the machine and from the books and everything has given me a lot of satisfaction in a time that's kind of been difficult for me. So while the sweater did take a lot of time, the machine needed fixing, it turned out all right. And in the grand scheme of things, it didn't take that long for a sweater, all things considered. I'm looking forward to making more sweaters and other things with the knitting machines. I am definitely going to work on the, car the gauge yarn sizing situation. I need to figure that out. But overall, it's been a great learning experience. And honestly, not exactly a nightmare. Just a lot of hiccups along the way with learning a new thing. If you liked this video, please check out my other videos here on my channel. I also, I also post to Instagram and TikTok occasionally. Comment down below what you thought and if have you ever tried a knitting machine? Flatbed or circular, new, old. I hope you have a great day and block and squawk again with me sometime. Bye!